Hello my good people, if you're watching this then you're probably already aware that one of the most beloved free image licensing platforms is in the process of being acquired by Getty. With more than 100 million free images downloaded every month, Unsplash is a powerhouse within the photo licensing industry. So this move does make a lot of sense for Getty, but what does it actually mean for the future of Unsplash? Founded in 2013 as a Tumblr blog with just 10 images, Unsplash has grown to become an industry-leading visual platform with a die-hard community. I've been downloading and uploading to the platform myself since 2018, and today my collection gets just under 2 million monthly views and I've had over 100,000 downloads. As a creative, I am also selling my images on Shutterstock, Adobe Stock and Getty, so contributing on Unsplash does seem contradictory. With that being said, the creativity and generosity within the Unsplash community does pose a huge threat for other licensing businesses. If we were to take a step back and look at this in context, Unsplash's image library has influenced the rest of the world like you wouldn't believe. As of last year, Unsplash has become the primary source for the majority of media across blogs, graphics, presentations and social media. These freely licensed images are now being used more than the rest of the stock industry combined, so it's no surprise that Getty is making this move. In a recent email by the CEO and founder of Unsplash, Mikhail Cho said that Getty first reached out to them back in 2016. He goes on to say, We weren't sure that they would see the world in the same way we did, given their business was largely built on licensing. Over years of conversation, however, we learned about the level of respect they had for the Unsplash community and the rights of the creators to choose how and where their imagery is made available. Last year, Unsplash passed 2 billion downloads, tripled its new advertising platform and launched a new feature which allows contributors to list their services for hire. It's safe to say their business is growing as they plan to further expand and develop their product offering. So what can Getty bring to the table? In the same email talking about these new products, Mikhail goes on to say, In partnership with Getty Images, we'll be accelerating our plans on each of these. We've identified ways we can grow faster together, collaborate with more brands, and create many more opportunities for creative talent. We'll be hiring and adding resource to bring each of these parts of Unsplash to full bloom much quicker than we could have done alone. It might come as no surprise to hear that this isn't the first time a free imaging licensing platform has been acquired by another company. Back in 2019, Canva, a graphic design platform, acquired both Pexels and Pixabay. This acquisition was a smart move as it meant Canva could integrate over 1 million additional free images and vectors to be discoverable inside their platform. Pexels co-founder Ingo Joseph said, We're on our way to put an end to cheesy stock photos and open the doors to more authentic, trending content for free. After this acquisition, both Pexels and Pixabay underwent a few minor changes, but the premise of these free stock sites remained the same. Today, if you go to either of these sites and then search for a specific image, then scroll down, you'll notice at the bottom of each page there's a section for sponsored photos. I think this could be one of the small changes that we see being implemented on Unsplash, so is this a bad thing? I don't think so, it's a small way to enhance a user's experience for those people who might not be able to find the free image that they are looking for, but are willing to pay for it. Another change I would like to see is more of a focus on milestones, where creators could even receive rewards for hitting them. This gamification tactic also encourages people to upload and gives contributors a target to aim for. With Getty, iStock and Unsplash all working as one, these brands are uniquely positioned to reach the world's fastest growing creative community. Right now, it's hard to fully tell how this acquisition will change Unsplash, but I'm hopeful that the overall outcome will be positive for the community. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments how you think this acquisition will change Unsplash. Thank you for watching and have a great day.